WWE revealed more information on how its new World Heavyweight Champion will be decided. At WWE's pre-backlash press conference, Triple H announced that the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament will begin on Raw this coming Monday. Okay? The, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship will be the Raw Exclusive Championship. Therefore, it is starting on Raw Monday. Okay? There will be two triple threat matches on the episode. The winners will then face off against each other later that night to decide who will advance to Night of Champions. I'm already confused. Two triple threat matches. Hold on. Hold on. It gets better. Two triple threat matches will also take place on SmackDown Ah, next Friday. Those winners face each other in the main event of that episode. Uh Uh-huh. The winner from SmackDown Uh will face the winner from Raw Uh to determine the inaugural World Heavyweight Champion of Raw. Uh Uh-huh. Which means the finals of the Raw tournament after this draft Mm -hmm. will be somebody from SmackDown facing somebody from Raw. Okay, which means theoretically, okay, that if the SmackDown person wins the Raw title, well, I would presume that person is now a Raw talent. Which, of course, begs the question, like, if this were real, okay, if this was a real thing, why would you as a SmackDown GM allow anyone to compete in this tournament, knowing that if they do well, you lose them? Well, you wouldn't, because that would be stupid. Because this whole thing is stupid. Because this whole thing is stupid, because last week on SmackDown, they said, they actually said SmackDown and Raw wrestlers will be eligible for the title that will only be on Raw. Then, on Monday, Paul Heyman came out and said, you know, Roman Reigns would really like that belt, but he can't compete for it because he's not on Raw. Which led to me thinking, wait a second. Didn't you... And now they're saying that, in fact... In fact, SmackDown wrestlers can compete for the Raw title. But you see, this all ties into what I was talking about yesterday. You want to know why Roman Reigns can't compete for the title? Why? Because he ain't around to be in the tournament. Because it seems to me that as the champion, as the crown jewel, so to speak, the focal point of SmackDown, he should be able to be in that triple threat match to determine who is going to the Night of Champions. But he's not. Because it's stupid. You notice? I don't know if you guys have noticed this or not. But this show was really stupid until about July when Vince stepped down. And then from July all the way through uh, almost WrestleMania, like, you may not have liked the show. You may have had a criticism about this or that. But you know what it wasn't? It wasn't stupid like it used to be. Well, now he's back because he paid off a bunch of people for things that he had done that were wrong. He used all of his money. And now he's back. And you know what? Things are stupid again. Seems to me there's a uh, a correlation here between, you know, Vince being around and things being stupid. So I think this whole thing is stupid. I don't know why we got SmackDown wrestlers. Wrestling for a Raw title. It doesn't make any sense. Makes no sense whatsoever. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway. Great. Saudi money, baby. That's why you need to have all of your stars that you can compete for. it. So, who is going to be that person from SmackDown who ends up coming out the victor and all that sort of stuff that can show their wares against either, I guess, Cody Rhodes or Seth Rollins? I mean, who else is it going to be right now? Omas? the main event i was so disgusted why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him disgusting isn't it yes it is so disgusting there was a lot of great matches there was the first day the second day was back to this same old crap her favorite was gunther versus drew versus sheamus oh i hate gunther you hate gunther really why do you hate about him just doesn't look right to me (laughs) Doesn't look right. <laughs> okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. 
Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm. And by E. By okay. E? It said by E. Big E. I Big guess. E. Okay. Big E. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Comic book villain, I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.